Good evening, Fight Fans. It's your boy Joe Martini back again, February the 3rd, for another championship fight prediction preview opinion. Um, tonight's been a great night. Um, we saw a great fight, uh, Gassiev uh, versus Dortico's. Um, the KO doctor got KO'd in the fucking 12th round. Um, that's a loss for me. I had Dortico's winning that fight. Big ups to Gassiev, who did his thing. Um, wow, it was a great, great fight, man. I want to watch it again. And um, good luck, Gassiev. I'll be doing a prediction on the Gassiev uh, Yusek, uh fight. Um, but wow, that was a great fight. Uh, I took the loss. These things are never 100%. What can you say, man? Uh, Gassiev, yo, proved he's a real, real uh, fuck, he belongs, man, he belongs, he proved me wrong, uh, Dorticos, he gave it a hell of a try, like I said, that was a great, great fight, man, I'd like to see that again, uh, but this fight is for February 4th in, uh, Naha, Japan, uh, you can watch it on Biang Sports Espanol, if you have that channel, um, Diego, 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 Higa versus Moises Fuentes, 12 rounds for Higa's WBC flyweight title, um, I've covered Higa fights before. I said he was going to knock out uh, uh, Thomas Masson in his last fight, and he did. So on this fight, let's cover Diego Higa first. Uh, he's 14-0 with zero losses, zero draws. He's knocked out everybody he's fought so far. Um, he's been in 55 professional rounds in five years. He's um, a 22-year-old right-handed Japanese fighter. He's five foot three and a half with a 65 and a half inch reach. I like the way they put the halves in there just to know I got that little extra on you. But, um, you know, he's the number two ranked flyweight in the world, guys. The number two. Um, uh, um, some notes about him as all his fights have been in Japan except one. One fight was in Thailand. We want to see him come to the good old U.S. of A. You know, uh, maybe, right, in the near future if he keeps this shit up. Um, he beat one undefeated fighter with double-digit wins. Um, that's also beat an undefeated fighter who had a lot of wins. Um, he won the WBC World Flyweight title in May 2017, put his name on the map, and now everybody knows who he is. Okay, this is the second fight I predict. Uh, you know, because again, I had him knocking out Thomas Massoon in October 2017, his previous fight, and he did. Um, his opponent. This time around, it's going to be Moises Fuentes. He's got 25 wins, 4 losses, uh, 1 draw with 14 knockouts. And he's been in 173 rounds in his 12-year professional career. He's 30 years old. He's the North Sadak fighter from Mexico. He's 5'6 and a half with a 68-inch reach. And he's the number 8th ranked flyweight in the world. Okay. Um, Fuentes, some notes about him. is um, When he was 23 years old, he was 12-0. When he was 23 years old, he was 12 and 0 in early 2011. Okay, that was seven years ago. Um, when he fought a man, a, a man by the name of Juan Hernandez Navarrete, who handed him his first loss as a professional. Navarrete was also 23 years old. Okay, in 2011, that's the same Navarrete that Die Diego Higa uh, knocked out to become a world champion seven years later, 2017. Okay, so. Uh, Higa's facing the man that beat the man that beat the man. Yeah. In August 2011, uh, Moises Fuente, um, he won a WBO World Minimum title and defended it twice. All right. Um, and he even beat uh, Puerto Rican Hall of Famer Yvonne Calderon, superstar Hall of Famer Yvonne Calderon, before moving up. So he never lost that belt. He moved up to the light flyweight division where he challenged um, Don Donito no, uh, Dani Nietes, actually, um, in 2013 and fought to a draw. So the guy was feeling himself. You know, he was that good, and he fought Nietes, and it was a draw. He didn't even lose at the light flyweight uh, for a world title. So um, Mo uh, uh, Moises Fuentes is a, is a, is a, is a fighter, y'all. He's a world-class fighter. Um, in September 2013, he won an interim WBO light flyweight title, finally. So he's a two weight class world champion. Um, in 2014, then he got a chance to rematch uh, Nietes for the WO uh, lightweight title, and and he got knocked out. Okay, so uh, the long-awaited 
fight. He gets knocked down in 2014. But then in 2016, he fought for a vacant WBO lightweight flight title and got knocked out again. But this time it was in Japan. Keep in mind, this upcoming fight is in Japan. And it was he got knocked out by somebody by the name of Kosai Tanaka, by the way, who is still undefeated today. Um, So, my prediction. This will be Di Diago Higa's biggest challenge ever. Although Navarrete beat Fuentes in a close fight. It was a split decision win for Navarrete. Uh, Fuentes has faced better competition than Navarrete. Okay? But I think Higa will knock out Moises Fuentes in Japan. Okay? Um, if history ends up repeating itself, um, other than defending a world title in Puerto Rico, uh, Fuentes has been knocked out um, or fought to a draw when going for a world title outside of Mexico. So outside of Mexico, he was only successful once uh, in Puerto Rico uh, when when um, defending or fighting for a world title. Um, he's, he, you know, so Fuentes has been in there with, uh, you know, some great fighters. And, um, and he does have height and reach uh, advantage. Um, but that, but the same thing was, you know, the same thing against Tanaka. He had height and reach against Tanaka, and he got knocked the fuck out. So, um, you know, I'd like to see uh, Higa after he knocks out Fuentes. I'd like to see him fight. Um, after he knocks out, <laughs> oh man, some this is a good drink right here. Um, after he knocks out um, Fuentes, I'd like to see him fight Nietes. That would be a good fight to um, improve that resume. Because um, Higa really hasn't fought anybody, but his last three fights have been against some real top-level shit. So to improve, he's got to fight Nietes next. Your boy, Martini. One.